guys, so today I decided to film my depotting diaries kind of series, I think I'm going to call it, maybe, we'll see. But I decided to depot my Milani blushes as well as my Physician Formula blushes and put them in my Dome Z palette that I've had for about a year now that has been empty. So I've been going through my collection of makeup and I really want to kind of downsize what I have, getting rid of makeup, but also kind of taking all my single stuff, so my single eyeshadows, blushes, and bronzers and consolidating them into like my Z palettes. So I have done um, eyeshadows before, I did a few of my old blushes, but I filmed today my Milani and my Physicians Formula blushes, and they are a little bit trickier than I thought they would be, so these are the Milani blushes here. They are dome shaped so they do fit into a dome Z palette. This one here isn't a blush, it's actually an eyeshadow, but it's a dome shape so it only fits in this palette. So I'm going to have to pick up another one so that I can fit my domed eyeshadows in there. And then these ones are Physicians Formula blushes and they are flat so they fit into a normal blush, but I just like that they're all kind of round and fit into this one palette nicely. So. If you guys want to see how I depot my Milani blushes and my Physicians Formula blushes, then just keep watching. Alright, so before I get started, I am going to put a disclaimer out there that I have spent a lot of time depotting some of my eyeshadows. This is not how my palette looked um, a couple months ago. I had a whole bunch of eyeshadows that were broken and busted because I didn't know the proper way to depot them. So I spent a lot of time looking at videos and really analyzing my products to see where the openings are to actually depot them properly. So I do suggest that if you're not using Milani or Physicians Formula that I'm showing in this video now or even in the future, really spend your time on, I would say, not cheaper, but ones that are either hit pan on, ones that are no good anymore. I took eyeshadows that were actually really old that were ready to go in the garbage and I practice it, practice it, <laughs> I practice depotting those first so that I can kind of get a group of how hard I need to push and pull and just kind of get a feel for what I'm actually doing. So I do suggest not doing this on your very expensive eyeshadows first. As you guys can probably see here, there is a crack a little bit in this one. I have two of these blushes. This is the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso, and I actually have two of them because I cracked it and I freaked out. I thought it was going to be busted forever, so I picked up another one. But this is when I first ever depotted this. Um, I did this one a couple months ago, but these ones I've done for a while. So I do suggest practicing on ones that you are going to throw away or really spending your time. There is no rush to do this because if you don't want to break your eyeshadows, blushes, bronzers, whatever you are using and not have to throw them away, then I definitely suggest practicing first. Also, I am using heat to do my depotting, so definitely be careful. You don't want to burn your fingers. I can't even count how many times I almost did. So if you have a straightener or a curling wand glove, I definitely suggest using that first as well as kind of lay an area out where you aren't going to spill eyeshadow because I, or bronzer or blush, whatever. I've had a black eyeshadow crack on me and black powder went everywhere. So I'm just putting that disclaimer out. Make sure your setting is, you know, okay for you to do, you know, you're dealing with eyeshadows and blushes and bronzers, you're dealing with heat, and just to practice and take your time. There is no rush to do this. So there are a few things that I'm going to say that you need. So obviously, um, you're going to use heat. So I used a straightener. I have two of these. This one's like really dirty. I apologize for that. But this is just my cheap straightener. There are any heat settings. It just goes on. That's about it. It's hot enough. And then you are going to lay parchment paper or like multi-purpose paper on your straightener because when you're placing your bronzers or your blushes or eyeshadows on your straightener, they will melt. So you want to put this down as like a protective layer so that they don't melt on your straightener because that'd be bad, especially since straighteners can be expensive. So definitely have parchment paper around. As you guys will see halfway through the video that when I was depotting my baked blushes from Milani, it took a long time to sit on the actual straightener to melt so that I could actually push out the blush itself. So I grabbed a lighter and then I just lit the bottom of it as you guys will see. It immediately turned black and so I was able to push it out. Please be careful, it's extremely hot. I've almost burnt my fingers a few times. But this was just because I didn't have the patience to sit there and wait for the glue to unmelt, I guess. <laughs> yeah, so the glue to melt a bit and allow me to push out the Milani baked pan. So I used a, a, 
So I used a lighter and was able to push out the blush. So a lighter is also a must. You will need some kind of pick or metal pin to pull and push out the eyeshadow or the blush. You also need a Z palette or some kind of palette to put this into. So first I'm going to start out with my Physician's Formula blush. This one was very easy to depot. So you just take out the excess packaging and then I just grab it and I rip off the top. I know it's cute packaging but it's more convenient for me this way. Then I'm just going to grab it and rip off the bottom. So on the back it has a mirror and I am going to place that face down on my straightener. Don't forget the parchment paper so you don't ruin your straightener. And I'm just going to leave that on for about a minute or so. And the mirror for this one was very easy to take off. It's not sealed by a lot of glue. And then I just picked and pried at the sides of the blush very carefully so that I didn't damage it. And as you guys can see, there is just a little bit of glue holding the eye, the pan into the packaging. So I just can peel that off with my fingers. You can use rubbing alcohol to make it cleaner. And then I'm just going to take one of the magnets and stick it on the back. So then next I'm going to take the bottom that has the sticker of the name of the blush on it and place that back on the strainer only for a few seconds because otherwise you will burn the plastic and the sticker will be ruined. And then as you guys can see here, I'm just going to peel that off. And it's a very thin sticker, so I am able to take that and place it on the back of the blush right on top of the magnet. And that is very thin so that I can stick the magnet on to the palette. Some stickers are a little bit too thick as you guys will see with my Milani blushes, so it doesn't work that way. So then I'm just going to take my Z palette. As you guys can see, I have another Physician's Formula blush that I did depot earlier. And I did take the mirror from the Physician's Formula blush and place that in the Z palette as well. Why not have an extra mirror for traveling? So then I'm just going to place that onto the Z palette. It's very firm. The magnet, I just made sure that it wasn't going to fall off with the sticker on there because I was a little bit worried about the sticker. So next I'm just taking my Dome Z palette. This one is a little bit thicker so that you can fit the dome shaped blushes into it. And I'm just going to take my Milani blush as you guys can see here. I know cute packaging but a little bit more convenient for me to depot them into one palette. So I'm just going to take off the top like I did with the Physicians Formula blush. And then I am going to rip off the bottom just like I did with the other blush as well. So as you guys can see, it does have a sticker on the back, so I'll save that for later. And this is what the blush looks like. Just a warning that the mirror on the back of the Physicians, or the mirror on the back of the Milani blushes is very weak. So as I was prying it to get off, it was cracking. So just be very careful that you don't cut yourself with the glass and just make sure you leave it on the straightener long enough for the mirror to come out easily. So I placed it back on the straightener after the mirror was removed. And as you guys can see, I just kind of pushed out the blush very carefully. I didn't pry it with anything, but I did make sure that I was very careful by prying it out of the blush so it didn't shatter. It does take a little while on the straightener to be able to push it out of the pan. And then I just take another magnet and stick it on the back. I am going to take the bottom and I'm going to put it back on the straightener only for a few seconds so that I can peel off the sticker. Like I said, you don't want to leave it on too long so you don't burn it. Then I placed it on the back of the blush and it looked like it stayed here, but I ended up taking it off because it didn't stick to the palette that well with the sticker on the back. So then next I'm just going to do the same with the rest of my blushes, as you guys can see here. And I got a little impatient and I decided to do more than one at a time. The longer you leave the blush on the straightener, the easier it is to kind of push it out of the pan. So I was getting a little impatient because it was taking a while for me to push it out of the pan. I think I left it on for about a good two minutes. So what I did next was I took a lighter and I ended up burning the bottom of the package as you guys can see there it ended up going black very quick so just be careful and then it, the blush popped out really easily you want to take off the excess glue like I said with rubbing alcohol or you can just pry it off with your fingers but if you want a clean surface to stick the magnet on I definitely suggest using rubbing alcohol to clean it up
And then I'm just going to take the bottoms of the pans and I'm going to stick it on the straightener so that I can peel off the sticker. I was going to put them on the back of the actual blushes itself, but they didn't stick that well to the palette because the sticker was a little bit too thick for it. When I burnt it, it was very easy for me to take out the blush. Like I said, just be very careful that you're not going to melt the plastic. So here you guys can see the final product. I've got four of my Milani baked, my four of my Milani baked, bleh, four of my Milani baked blushes in my Z palette. I did crack one of them, but that was from a previous depotting, not from this time because I actually figured out how to do it properly. So don't worry, that isn't from this time. And like I said, this is the Dome palette from the Z palette collection. Then next I'm just going to take a journal, any kind of one that you will kind of keepsake for your makeup. I do have this for swatches of my lipsticks and concealers, just so I can kind of keep track. It's just my everyday makeup kind of journal book, I guess you can say it. If I find a new product I want, I put it in there. So I'm going to take that and then the bottom of the cases where I peeled off the sticker. And I'm just going to put them into the book as my Z palette lays so that I know which blush is which, as you guys can see here. Here you guys can see the final palette that I have. Like I mentioned, this is not a blush here but it's just an eyeshadow but it is dome shaped and these ones aren't but I do like that they fit in this palette nicely because it's all kind of round circles so I have all my Milani blushes here I did take off the sticker off the back that had the name on it and like I showed in the video it's in a book instead and I tend to write them down because I know which ones are which and that way for future reference I have a list of where I can go back and refer to so that was me depotting my baked blushes. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I use the Z palettes. I think they're strong and sturdy and they do the job right. I've got four Z palettes. Yes. One, two, three, and then my little one for my makeup geek eyeshadows. I think they're really good to carrying all your eyeshadows or blushes that are single and having them all consolidated into one palette. So, like I said, if you guys want to see me depot some more of my blushes, bronzers, and I have a whole bunch of single eyeshadows I want to depot as well, I will continue doing a depotting diaries kind of series on my channel. So, so if you guys want to see how I depot the rest of my blushes and eyeshadows and bronzers, I will be doing more videos if you guys like them. I can also kind of break it down for each kind of brand, so either NYX, Mil Milani, Maybelline, anything like that, what I have, I can break it down into series as well like that. If you guys would like, I will have a link down below for the Z palettes if you guys are interested, and all of my blushes are pretty much drugstore, so you can find them there. Like I said, these are the Milani baked blushes and they fit into a dome palette perfectly. Don't forget to rate this video and give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below on what you guys would like to see next and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!